Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Donnie with Designs by Donnie and today is an awesome day. It's the final reveal of the ultimate table build. Check this out guys. I would like to give a huge thank you to Power Pro Hardware for sponsoring this video. After I attached these beams with glue and tenons, I decided I wanted to reinforce them. So I took a 3 quarter inch fly bit, I drilled some holes, and I reinforced them with lag screws. After having the exposed holes, I decided I needed to plug them up. So I grabbed some cypress, I made some 3 quarter inch plugs, took them to the bandsaw and popped them out. Once the beams were complete, it was time to move on to the base. I grabbed a straight edge and made a couple of reference marks. I'm using a Festool domino joiner to make my mortises. This mortise will serve as the attachment with the tenons. Time to apply some glue, add some tenons, and attach. Easy peasy. I underestimated the weight of this table, especially in this base. So after gluing them up and clamping them down for four hours, I did go ahead and apply lag screws. I did three lag screws per leg. The next step in the process is to add adjustable feet. So I'm going to drill some recess holes and these will serve as the place of entry for the adjustable levelers. Okay, it's time to attach those sweeping beams. Using a Domino XL joiner, I'm going to mortise some holes and attach them with glue and tenons. And once again, we're going to reinforce it with more lag screws. This is the perfect time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and help a brother out and click that button. I mixed two stains together. I did four parts weathered oak to one part classic gray. I want this piece to retain a natural appearance, but wherever the grain has character or is just a little rough, I wanted that gray to hold in there. You'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. Time to move on to the top. The resin is completely cured and it's time to demold. So I'd like to point out that I had a resin leak in this slab and it leaked into the table and really secured the tabletop 
to the assembly table. I had a heck of a time removing it. After removing the slab from my assembly table, I loaded it up on my slab flattening mill. I've got it all shimmed out and level, so it's just time to mill it up. I'm using a 2 inch end mill bit from Infinity Tools. I really like this bit. It creates a nice clean cut and it removes a lot of stock at the same time. After two hours of milling and about 30 to 40 minutes of a really difficult sanding sesh, it's ready for finish work. I applied the stain, I let it sit for a couple of hours before wiping off the excess. Now we're moving along. Adding a little clear coat to this, I want to add some gloss, protect it, and I'm going to add about six coats to the top and the bottom letting it sit for a couple hours in between each coat. I'm really digging this table. It's still wet, but you can already see how awesome that resin looks. I used pearl white, which kind of has a marble effect, but gosh, I think it looks really pretty. I really wanted a natural look with this table, with the resin, with the slab, and I think I achieved it. While we're waiting for the top to cure out, I decided to move on to the base and add a few coats there. Now I underestimated the weight of this base. I wasn't able to move it into my finish area. I had to just put it on a couple of 2x4s and do it right here on the spot. I thought this table was going to be much lighter and it actually took four guys to take it off the assembly table just to put it on the floor. But now that that's all set and the top plate was attached off camera, I'm sliding the tabletop over now. Whoa, we did it guys. I can't believe this build is complete. This table took six weeks to build. I was challenged every inch of the way, but I had a blast and I really wanted to achieve this sweeping beam natural look. Uh, and I think I achieved it. If you like it, please comment below and let me know what you think. But as always guys, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.